All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Scripting tutorial. And in this video, actually, we're not going to be scripting, okay? I'm going to be teaching you guys how to come up with your own game ideas, okay? Now, this may sound a little bit weird, like, okay, well, I already have an idea, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no, you don't have an idea, okay? Trust me, because <laughs> when it comes to making an actual game, you probably won't have an idea. Because, I mean, I mean, maybe you will, but the same thing happened to me. But anyways, guys, I'm going to teach you in this video how to come up with a game idea. So I actually made uh, a, a little thing over here, okay, called... Uh, a PowerPoint slide. Oh, and, and we're on the wrong slide. Back up. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. All right. How to come up with good game ideas, okay? This is the question that everybody wants to know. How do you do this? Now, okay, this is going to be actually serious, okay? Like, no joke. I'm going to teach you guys how to come up with good game ideas um, because it, it, sometimes it's hard. Honestly, it is. And a lot of people have actually asked me before, like, what's a good game idea, blah, 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 and this is going to help you out. All right, so how to come up with good game ideas. Uh, next slide, okay? So... First things first, think about your motives, okay? Are you making this game for fun? Are you making this game to learn? Are you making this game to earn money, right? Uh, like, is it a combination of all of these? You guys should figure that out, because seriously, this is like the most important question you're gonna ask yourself here, because this is gonna, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the most important question, but it's very important to know why you're making the game, because it's um, cause then it'll obviously affect the type of game you're gonna make, right? So definitely figure that out. If you wanna make a game for fun, well then just make whatever you you know your heart desires. Um, but if you want to make a game to learn, you know, you might want to go ahead and, you know, copy a game just to test it out and stuff like that. You know, who knows? And if you want to make a game to earn money, you might want to try doing different types of games that, you know, make the most money. But anyways, um, let's keep going. All right. So think about your game's player base. Okay. Now, uh, another way to you know think about it, think about your game is, um, you know, do you want like a PvP game? Do you want a game that has a lot of competition in it, or do you want a game with has like a lot of like player interaction, or, like people talking to each other, or whatever, like a role play game? Because this is something important to know, right? Just consider these things um, when you're you know in your head, okay? Next, okay. Sometimes recreating a game is good, okay? If you just want to recreate a game like for the sake of learning, it's actually a good thing sometimes because like. You can, like, copy a game, for example, like, I don't know, like a basic simulator, and actually learn a lot from doing it, because you're already going to know what you want to do, and you're doing it just to learn, right? Maybe you won't release it, obviously, because that's not really that right, you know, because you're kind of stealing someone's game, but just making it to learn, I definitely, don't think there's, I definitely don't think there's anything wrong with that, and I think it's a great way to learn. Um, but yeah, just find a fun game that you think would be fun to make, but not too much of a challenge, I guess, or if you think, you know, you're capable of it, um, but yeah. Anyways, that's, 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 that's a good thing, too, if you want to make a game to learn. All right. Um, some people say, okay, some people say that you should only make games which you enjoy, okay? And it, I, I, I get what they're saying, right? They, that way you don't lose interest on it, you don't get bored. But at the same time, okay, as you can see, I like money, you like money. The question is, who, who doesn't like money? All right, so here's my point, okay? It, people will tell you don't make a game unless you think you're going to enjoy it or that you wouldn't play, right? People say don't make a game that you wouldn't play. But, I mean, hey, okay, it, I might make a crappy simulator just for the money, all right? And you might too. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? I mean, I was not a crappy one. I was kind of a joke. But, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with making a game that you wouldn't play because maybe some other, some other people would play it. And, you know, that would make you happy that other people are playing your game. And also, you, you, might, you might make money from that certain idea. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, like, certain simulators. A lot of people say, like, simulators are kind of boring to make or whatever. Um, and that might be true. Um, I, I don't know. It's up to you to decide that. But either way, I don't think there's anything wrong with making it, even if you think it's boring. Because you are, at the, at the, at the end of the day, going to be able to actually profit real money off of it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that's, that's, what I, that's all I want to say about that. All right. Next, okay, so if you still can't come up with any ideas, okay, and you are just clueless right now, you're like, what the heck do I do? All right, go for a walk, <laughs> do some push-ups, stop listening to music, okay? This is a big one for me, because I used to just, like, listen to a lot of music and never think for myself, right? Because there, there would be, like, there would always be, like, background noise, you know, and I said I couldn't really think that much, or I'm just, like, kind of humming along, but... Actually, guys, seriously, like, if you actually stop listening to the music and, like, just let yourself think and be alone with your thoughts for a bit, you'll actually, like, think a lot and get a lot of good ideas. Like, seriously, like, no joke, it, it, you actually will. Um, meditate, okay, so sit on the ground <laughs> and just breathe, all right? Um, dream, okay, or pretty much anything else. Just, the point is, let yourself think, okay? Let yourself be alone and just think and think and think, you know? Just, like, close your eyes, lay down, and think if you can't come up with anything. But yeah, I think that could work. Um, anyways, <laughs> next, okay. Um, another thing you can do, actually, this is very underrated, um, but go into studio, 
um, and do this, okay? Well, I guess you don't really have to do it in the studio. But basically, go on Twitter and type hashtag Roblox Dev, and then look through all of the feed, okay? I'll show you right now what it looks like. Um, but as you can see here, I searched up Roblox Dev, right? Hashtag Roblox Dev. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff right here, right? You have, like, all this stuff right here. You have this cool... Oh, I refreshed. Uh, you have this, like, guy making tomb powers or whatever. Well, it looks so cool, right? Does it not? You have these, like, wings right here. You have this... Whoa, what is that? It's like a halo thing, is it? I don't know. That looks actually really cool, though. That thing is so cool. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff right here that can give you a lot of inspiration. So definitely go ahead and try this, guys. Seriously, no joke. This is actually a good idea. You can get a lot of inspiration and ideas from this. You know, it just sparks something in your mind. Um, but yeah. All right. Next, when everything else fails, okay, this is it. When everything else fails and you can't come up with any ideas, all right, get into a call with a friend. Uh, preferably a face-to-face -face call so you can like see the person and, and you know know that they're not like doing something else while talking to you okay and someone that actually is serious and that wants to come up with an idea as well and then do this okay so basically just get in a call and brainstorm okay like, like get a google doc or whatever you know and share it with your friend and you can both type at the same time and then just literally type anything that comes to your mind like just literally anything and then obviously you'll end up deleting a lot of stuff but just type anything and actually be serious about it don't just like mess around unless you unless you want to but i mean you know, be serious and you actually will come up with some good ideas seriously um th this is this is a common thing people do i guess but um it actually does work and it's kind of underrated honestly um but yeah Double try that out. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. That is, that's it. So um, as you can see, the last slide is, now go do everything I said if you want an idea. No joke, these stuff's actually work. Like, seriously, try it. <laughs> but they actually do. Like, no joke, seriously. Um, but yeah, that's how you come up with a game idea, you guys. Seriously, if you do want to come up with a game idea, I promise if you do all these steps, you actually will come up with something. I guarantee it. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Leave, us, leave a like and subscribe if this helped you out. Um, and subscribe for more awesome Roblox Studio related tutorials. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys come up with any ideas that are cool. I mean, don't tell me unless you want, you know, unless you want me to steal them. But, you know, tell me if you came up with any ideas. All right. Anyways, guys, that's it. Peace.